Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of other categories as well, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, because that's mostly what I do here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice, whenever I announce giveaways and of course, whenever I go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today, I'm very excited to get to share with you my second undiscovered artisan box from Novica. So Novica is a great brand that works with artists all around the world and they are now doing a subscription box that features a different destination or region each quarter. I just think it is so lovely. If you like handcrafted items from around the world, this might be the box for you. It is $59.99 per quarter. I think the shipping is only around $3.99. I do have an affiliate link for you to use if you would be so kind. And I believe you can just get a nice $10 discount using the code artisan10. Otherwise, they'll probably have a new promo code once you put your email address in there to be on their mailing list. But I think it is well worth it. What's also really cool about this box, you guys, is that it is totally customizable. So you usually get five products. There's a variety of things from accessories to home goods and there's usually three categories so there's kind of the premium category which has I think some of the higher end items and then there's two other categories where you choose two items from each so lots of options you guys and I will do my best to tell you all about them so what's also really cool is that they do a gorgeous job of packaging these boxes the one that I got a couple of months ago stunning this one also just stunning. Look at that beautiful wrapping paper and this lovely ribbon they did with this little Novica emblem on it. You guys, I just thought that was so pretty. And of course it came in an outer box so that I get this, but how cool would this be as a gift subscription? So it is gonna take me a little while now to open it up, of course, because I wanted to preserve that gorgeous packaging so I could share it with all of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I know some of you did go ahead and decide to subscribe because um, they did let me know and they were kind enough to send this box to me for review. Kind of took a little while for me to get in touch with the right person, but I am so, so happy about this box. This was uh, like kind of a void in my subscription box reviews. This was the kind of box that, you know, a lot of people were subscribed to Globe In for a while and that just kind of got overwhelming in terms of the number of home goods. I kind of like that this is so customizable and not necessarily in sets. And then of course that um, it's kind of smaller items. You can, you don't necessarily wind up with like a ton of pitchers and platters which was kind of the issue that I was having with some of the other um, world goods uh, boxes so let me see if I can get open it up again I am trying to kind of preserve the wrapping a little bit so that if I have a chance to take photos I will but um, I'm not sure if I will be able to just because I've been a little bit behind with my photos by the way if you're not already following me over on Instagram I would love if you did I'll leave the link for you in the description box below as always but it's just Maui underscore Noel and I do a lot of product photography over there working with a lot of boxes to provide them some images I like to do individual products Product, like kind of close up so you can really see some of the products a little bit better and for a little bit longer than you might necessarily in these videos where I can't always focus on so much detail and I'm usually trying to like read a lot of information to you so I'm almost into the box but they really uh, use some serious glue it's not like just a little bit of tape here and there it's uh, the whole box is a uh, is glued on there so let me see if I can get this open um, I'm gonna keep going but I will tell you already that in the first category so we'll see if we can start with that it does come with a nice little invoice but there wasn't a major product card in the first box so I sort of anticipated that this time and uh, wrote down the descriptions of the items that I chose so that I could at least give you a little bit more detail about that but I do wish there was a product card um, just so that I would have that information they had little individual cards from the artists which you could definitely hold on to but they were a little bit kind of cumbersome you know it's not like something that you could just kind of keep in a file folder somewhere which is what I do with a lot of the product cards especially the ones that have like artist stories that I want to uh, kind of keep on file so I've almost made it into the box you guys but I did have to rip the titch the wrapping paper just a little bit unfortunately I was so close and yet so far let me know in the comments below if you're one of those people who likes to reuse the really pretty wrapping paper at Christmas these days I go really simple 
and I just use like brown craft paper so that I don't mind um, not being able to reuse it. Um, but if I spend a lot of money on some fancy wrapping paper, I usually like to preserve it and see if I can find some other other uses for it. So this box is a little bit different than the last one. Okay, so it does slide open. So the last one slid open and it took me a really long time to figure that out, but this time I had a better idea. All right, so again, five items. <laughs> quite the unpackaging uh, job to do, but if you were receiving this, I could just feel like this would be such a nice thing to sit down to with a, maybe a cup of tea to discover. They do promise that you get some little extras from, from the uh, guides, so here we go. This is a little bit different this time, so we got a beautiful postcard of San Miguel de Allende in Guanajuato, which is uh, one of the magical towns that I am planning on actually visiting. I was going to go for my birthday next month, but I have decided to postpone that trip until December when it will be a little bit cooler. Um, we have a little handwritten message on the back. It says, gracias por descubrir Brir Mexico a través de nuestra artesanía, Jose Luis and Fatima. So um, forgive my accent, I do not speak Spanish. Uh, and here is our little like guide card, which is actually tied with uh, twine. I just think that is super cool. It says the journey has just begun. So this is the element that's awesome. Now you guys, uh, Jesse over at Jesse Miller Unboxings and more, she also got this box. So I'm sure she chose some different things. So here is Jose Luis and Fatima. So it says, welcome to our family workshop. We're from Dolores Hidalgo, north of San Miguel de Allende, known for the distinctive Talavera style ceramics. I believe that's the colorful ones. Um, it says that my father pioneered there. Over 40 years ago, he opened a workshop and began to teach the art of ceramics. Growing up, I helped my father in the workshop, not because I was interested, but because he paid me. It was a job. As time passed and I learned more, it became a passion. Now, like my father, I have won awards for my Talavera style ceramics. My wife, our son, my brother, and a cousin, two generations of my family, we all work together. I have three other children. I hope my other three children someday join us it is our heritage our legacy now of course I live in San Diego so there is a lot of Mexican flavor here not just in our cuisine but of course also in our home decor I love 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 the Mexican textiles and ceramics all of the different styles Ooh, we have a guacamole recipe there on the back you guys know I won't be using that but and then we do have a lovely kind of interview Q&A with them. So maybe I'll intersperse some of the un unboxing with that portion. So here's what I was talking about. These are the little like note cards that they include. So uh, to tell you about it, and it's, I mean, they spend so much time putting these little inserts in there. So it's like this little mini book. I mean, that is just so cool, you guys. All right, let's see what we got. I will tell you my first item is, I'm gonna try to find my premium item. So there were options. There was the wood alebria figurine cat in green from Mexico, which of course I was very tempted to get because you know that I love me some kitties. There was uh, embroidered cotton cushion cover. There was a multicolored alebria coyote figurine with geometric motifs, a hand-woven all cotton rebozo in blue and off-white, a tax coat, sterling silver natural turquoise teardrop neck necklace and then a leather tool roll bag and a hand woven floral cotton tote. So I went with the turquoise pendant necklace, which I just thought would be a really usable one and I love the size of it. So it came in this little like kind of muslin bag. That's actually a really nice little jewelry bag. And then of course inside it has our information. It says by Guillermo it says, I enjoy life and I love being alive. I feel happy when people like my designs. I love the idea that my jewelry becomes a part of yourself when you wear it. And then it says, Heaven's Tears. A teardrop of natural turquoise reveals heavenly hues in this necklace by Guillermo Aregui. He works in Mexico's precious Taxco silver to create his beautiful design. Simple and classic feeling with a feeling of old world charm. So let me show it to you guys. I do love turquoise. I don't wear a lot of it because it looks so good in silver and I tend to go towards gold these days but it's like perfect and small so look at how lovely and intense that turquoise color is um, I just think this is so so pretty so the necklace length is 17.8 inches it is 9.25 silver and that is my premium item that I selected which I just thought would be a really nice simple item to wear I love how delicate and small it is but then of course also a great item to gift to someone else then in the next category you could choose two of these items there was a hand-painted Mexican Mexican Day of the Dead uh, purple skull candles, ceramic tequila cups, hand-painted Katrina metal wall art, recycled paper colored pencils, sterling silver and dried flower dangle earrings from Mexico, uh, gift idea 10 coloring postcards of Mexican animal alebrije, a handcrafted textured copper cut 
copper cuff or a cotton cosmetic bag. So it may surprise you guys that I did not get the earrings. Um, I got another jewelry piece though. I got the copper cuff. Um, so here is what it says. This is by Rosie and Danielle. It says, in each of our copper designs, I want to share the awareness that you're holding a piece of history in your hands. In colonial Mexico, it was one of the most widely used metals. So it says, brilliant luster, intriguing textures and gleaming copper distinguish this unique bracelet. Let me hold it up for you guys. I think that is so, so pretty. It says, Mexican artists Rosie and Danielle craft the modern cuff by hand using traditional jewelry techniques. Isn't that so pretty, you guys? And of course, it's very malleable, so you can make it fit onto your wrist. So that is one of the items that I got. Um, and I have pretty small wrists, but I just thought that was really lovely. Yes, it's kind of like a rose gold almost, but very simple design. And I just thought it was really kind of neat. So I got this copper cuff. Then my other choice for this particular category was the cotton cosmetic bag from Hidalgo Flowers, which uh, I thought was great because it had, um, it wasn't just a cosmetics bag. Let me see if I can find the, the paper for it. I don't actually see it at the moment, but maybe I, maybe I moved that off to the side already. So this is, nope, that's not what it is. I'll find it, but look at how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that stunning? It says, crafted by Mexican artist, artisan Luis, Luz Gonzalez and Asociación de Artesanas, this cotton cosmetic bag makes a handy companion wherever it goes. Artisans decorate the front of the bag with embroidered floral mot motifs inspired by the flowers of Hidalgo. The back of the bag features a small zipper pocket and the bag's top zipper opens to a satin lined interior. So it's much nicer than a cosmetics bag, honestly, because it's satin lined. I mean, you could use that as a cosmetics bag, but it's got this detachable wristlet and I love that it's got this extra zipper pouch. So I feel like it's a really cute little clutch to use. And that of course is where we are hiding our little information. So it says, by Luz Gonzalez and the Women's Artisan Association, there are so many flowers that grow in the town where I live and they inspire all of the artisans here. Such pretty colors, isn't it? It says, they appear on almost all my designs. Even my moods are expressed through color. It says, Hidalgo Flowers, crafted by Mexican artisan Luz Gonzalez and Asociación de Artesanas. De it says, this cotton uh, cosmetic bag makes a handy companion. And again, they have it decorated with those floral motifs. But even the back is really pretty. You can see there is a like a pattern to it but i just think that jewel tone almost like a teal slash royal blue is so so pretty all right and then finally we had a last category where you got to choose two it was a hand-painted sunflower ceramic jewelry box a blue sacred heart wood wall sculpture a folk art heart pendant necklace decoupage coasters uh ohakin weave cotton tortilla holder a handcrafted owl alegria key ring a slender brown leather card holder wallet which was a good option for the guys in your life and a glass beaded floral ding or oh, glass beaded floral dangle earrings i did not get the earrings again you guys it's probably surprised i actually went for this blue sacred heart wool wood wall sculpture from milagros um this just kind of reminds me of going into like colonial Mexican towns. I love the color of it. I love that it's mixed um, media with the metalwork as well as the wood. It says carved from pine wood and painted by hand, this petite wall plaque is inspired by the sacred heart of Jesus. Devotion to the sacred heart is devotion to Jesus himself. It is crowned with a flame symbolizing Christ's burning love for humanity and was first venerated in 11th century Benedictine and Cisteria Sister Cistercian monasteries. Jaime Hernandez covers the image with an assortment of milagritos or little miracles. These diminutive charms represent petitions or answered prayers and depict animals, possessions, and even body parts that have been healed. In Mexico, such charms are often given to the image of Christ or saint in gratitude for miracles performed. So I just thought that was really cool. I did not know that that's what those little silver charms were depicting was like answered prayers. So, so pretty. Let me see if I can find the little card that tells us about it. I think I saw it somewhere. Oh yes. So again, from Jaime Hernandez, this artisan also wants to go back to making traditional designs such as relics and religious art in order to protect these for future generations. For Jaime, metal art is a way of life. I just think the metal art is so pretty. Um, so again, it says carved from pine wood and painted by hand, this petite wall plaque is inspired by the sacred heart of Jesus. So I just thought this was something cool that we could have in my house, which is very small. You can see it's very, very small, but um, just a nice little touch 
much of the, again, Mexican influence that we do have here in San Diego. And then finally, speaking of which, we got some decoupage coasters was my other choice uh, for Day of the Dead. Now, once upon a time, I was not into Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos things. I, like the skulls kind of freaked me out, but they are so cheerful. The like sugar skulls are just so cheerful. And again, we know from things like Coco that it's not a uh, morbid, it's actually a celebration of life. So it says, Ana Maria Gonzalez finds inspiration in Mexico's colorful Day of the Dead celebrations to craft a set of novel coasters working in decoupage, which I thought would, I thought they'd be like more textured, but they're actually very smooth. She selects four different skeleton images so that everyone will recognize their own glass. So that is so cool because they get to come back to the altar. This one is very like Coco reminiscent, is it not? So with the couple there, I love that. And then here is with, again with the big flower crown so I just thought these were really fun um, they're not probably going to absorb like a ton of moisture because they are pretty slick and glossy they could look really cool under some candles um, or just decorating something else but I thought they'd be a neat uh, again Mexican touch in my household so let me see if I can find information about these guys. So yes, so here they are. It says, my designs reveal a tiny bit of Mexico that I carry in my heart. And it says, Ana Maria Gonzalez finds inspiration in Mexico's colorful Day of the Dead celebrations to craft a set of novel coasters. Um, so again, I'll just show them to you one more time. I just think they're so fun, really colorful, like great paintings. I know some people are not into the skulls, but like I said, I think it's kind of cool to have that, especially since I live uh, basically on the border here very very close it's just like an hour drive to get to the border and head over to Mexico and I just thought these were really cool really fun that guy's really smiley so let's read a little bit of this interview it says you mentioned that passion led to your life's work what eventually led you to fall in love with Talavera now I wish I had gotten some Talavera ceramics it says there is an uncertainty uncertainty to Talavera style ceramics that is magical you can never be sure how a piece will look when it comes out of the kiln because fire transforms the colors even with a lot of experience Experience, you are sometimes surprised. The glazes lure with their vivid colors, but for me, I favor the reds and the greens. I've created many red and green designs. I'm drawn to the contrast of the colors. So here is some of that Talavera pottery, the ceramics. I love the ones that are in all blue and white. There was one time when I was in Mexico City and I was really tempted. They do these huge like sets where you can get it for like, you know, for a table setting of 12 and it has like every plate and bowl that you could possibly think of like butter dishes and serving dishes and I should have gotten it because it was only a few hundred dollars but I had nowhere to put it so your workshop produces many traditional designs. Do you also create new designs? Some pieces are low fired, others high fired. The techniques and designs are infinite, but every one is special. We pour our hearts into every piece. Tell us what you love most about Talavera, about your work. Not only do I love to work with ceramics, but I love what this life has given me. I am still able to be astonished. I love that I have also been able to exhibit my work to be recognized. I've been able to travel to see new places outside of Mexico. I've been to the USA and Central America. Of all the places I've been able to visit, I think I I like San Antonio in Texas the most. That's interesting. And then describe Mexico in three words and tell us about a place that best describes what you love about Mexico. Mexico is tradition, color, and excitement. What a great uh, s description and celebration. She added a fourth one. San Miguel de Allende is Mexico. It has everything. It is one of the most complete places in Mexico. The luminous painted facades, the shops, the galleries, the art, the restaurants. It is the heart of Guanajuato. Now I really wish that I was going next month for my birthday, but it, it will wait. It was something I was supposed to do in 2020, so obviously I can wait a little bit longer. Finally, food is an important part of travel, a part of discovery. When visitors come to your workshop and you want to serve a simple lunch, what do you prepare? Guacamole con frutas. It is a traditional guacamole with seasonal fruits, fresh and easy and perfect with homemade tortillas or chips. So again, something I probably wouldn't get, but love this box, love the customization. I am very happy with uh, all of the pieces. I think this is stunning and a very useful little clutch. Um, I'm very happy about this turquoise just because it is so sweet, so small, and I got a really good piece of turquoise where it's really blue. The coasters are super fun. I don't know that they'll like work very well as coasters, but I also really love this sacred heart and of course this lovely bracelet that's already kind of a becoming part of me. So let me know what you guys thought about this Novica Undiscovered Artisan box. I think it is a great way to discover new places, support artisans around the world. Again, use that link if you are interested in subscribing, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.